All right, it's another Thursday. Time for another ice bath. Start. Well, it's another beautiful sunny day here. It must be, I would say 60 degrees outside. It's uh, I think 46 in here. Notice I got my shoulders completely covered this time. Um, the thing I noticed the most again is my hands, which are, uh, grasping the timer once again I have the Sun on my face and that feels really good and I am again able to <laughs> kind of feel the warmth on my face and have that be my dominant sensation I wonder if I'm setting myself up to fail when it's a cloudy day or a rainy day. Can you imagine doing this and it's raining on you? And you see the raindrops hitting the ice? That'll be cool. Now I wanted to report on last week's ice bath where instead of 10 minutes I went for 15 minutes. And the last like three minutes were actually pleasant. I really enjoy being in the in the ice. Um, somehow, I don't know if I just got numb or I was excited about breaking through the 10 minute mark. I don't know what it was exactly or having the sun on my face for the first time. But when I got out, I was shivering for a long time. So I'm pretty sure I'm no scientist, but I think the, my, my body core got a lot colder in those last five minutes in the ice bath. And as a result, it took me a lot longer to warm up. So Huberman Lab, that guy who I, I listened to religiously, um, I don't know if it was him or somebody else, but said that when you get out, they were talking about hot, the cold showers. When you get out, you wanna get out with the water cold and you don't want to like heat up with hot water at the end. You want to let your body naturally warm itself up. That that stress will uh, make your body stronger. So I don't, um, I don't take a hot shower <laughs> when I get in. Uh, I put on some sweatpants, I put on a t-shirt and I put on my robe. And, and then I let my body do its thing. And last time it took a lot. It took a while until I actually warmed up. Okay. Just move my arms around a little bit. Each time seems to get a little bit easier. I, I definitely was working out today and I was thinking about doing this. And then mostly my thought was just think how good you'll feel when it's oh, when it's over. <laughs> and that is what shapes my uh, decision to do this. Um, because if I think about what I'm doing, there's nothing really pleasant about it, save for the last three minutes of my 15 minutes last time. <laughs> but uh, still tremendous apprehension about you know, getting in and, and being cold. Uh, I've never liked the cold. Part of the reason I want to die, retire and die in the Ta Bangkok, Thailand is because it's always warm there. 
Um, I love the heat. I don't mind the humidity. Uh, let me swim in the ocean and be hot. That's, that's for me. And they have ice there, so I can continue doing these. Uh, it'll be nice when I get out, because it'll be even warmer. Um, there. I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. This experience gets you very in touch with your surroundings. <laughs> it puts you very solidly in your body and out of your head. And uh, 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 everything sort of slows down and sounds seem a little crisper. And you can hear a lot more and everything seems a little brighter. It's just starting to be springtime here, so some flowers are blooming. I happen to live where there's a beautiful garden, so I see lots of flowers this way. I have a shoulder injury, so I'm really monitoring whether this ice bath experience is helping my, uh, it's not actually my shoulder, it's my rotator cuff. It's not torn, but it's like a little inflamed. Uh, I noticed it, uh, well, it's an injury I got back in 2015. And um, it went away for a long time, but then I started lifting weights and it kind of came back. So I saw the doctor, they x-rayed it or MRI'd it and said, yeah, what you need to do is some physical therapy, a little bit of stretching, just a few strength exercises. So I've started doing that just in the last few days. Um, and basically they said about ice and heat, you know, do, it, do what works for your body. Um, okay, the shivering has arrived a little later than before. Whew, okay, let's see. That's right about 46 again. That seems to be my go-to temperature. And now that I've somewhere I said ice bath on the internet, every time I go to Facebook or I go to Instagram, I'm seeing all kinds of ads for these super expensive plunges, you know, ice plunges you know, where you can do it every day, but not for like 10 minutes, but just like, I don't know, a couple minutes. For me, doing it for 10 minutes is really the thing though, you know? It's not just experiencing the shock of the body, but it's controlling the system and, and the discipline to stay in. Um, it's not like a sprint to get through it. It's um, a discipline to stay in it and, 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 and get to a point where it's, not terrible, not something I'm, I can't wait to get out of. Which we had that breakthrough last week. Okay, the little thing that I'm sitting on, I didn't put enough water in it, so it's got some air in it. So now it's trying to come up over here on my right side. So I guess I'm not sitting on it anymore, which is okay. I can just feel it pushing up against my right elbow. Oh my gosh, it's already been nine minutes. Just. Okay, I'm gonna do a Huberman 11, we'll call it. I wonder if it took longer for me to shiver 
because I did an hour of elliptical machine and then half an hour in the sauna. So my core was hotter, warmer. And I, I didn't take a shower, I didn't do anything after. I just came home, set this up, which took about 20 minutes to fill it up and, and do it. So I wonder if that's why I'm not like super shivering like I was the first time and the second time. Um, although I am now, I definitely am now. Almost all the ice is melted. The ice is about $7 for a 20 pound bag at Rayleigh's. I think maybe next time I might get two bags. I kind of like the, the crunching of the ice, you know, right here. And, and, uh, and I like the way uh, the sun reflects off the ice. And it would take it longer to melt, I think, if there was more of it. Water might get down to like 40, 44 degrees, which I don't think will make any difference. Okay, so I've gotten to that point again now where it doesn't even feel cold. Um, it's just so weird. It actually feels kind of warm. Even though I'm shivering, it does not, it does not, um, the, the, the tactile sensation on my skin. Um, no problem. Look at that, it's 11 and a half already. All right, so I'm gonna go 15 again and uh, we'll call it. My core get a little colder. That'll be a little better for me. Oh, I've been thinking about writing a book about the power of discomfort. I've got it laid out and uh, but I came up with a new name, Embrace the Stress. It'll be about how, as a culture, we're sort of, you know, raised to work our ass off, get to a point where we can just stop, retire, and have comfort. And from everything I've been reading and everything I've been learning, the stress is the thing that makes you stronger. The stress is the thing that's going to keep me young and vital, you know, till, till, till a ripe old age. Um, this is not comfort. This is stress. And um, anyway, I like the title, Embrace the Stress. I haven't even looked to see if someone else wrote a book called that. I think there's one called The Stress Formula. Um, I'm going to be geared towards uh, baby boomers like me you know, going into retirement, but it would apply to anybody. The lone piece of ice. Thirteen minutes. I really thought, right up until the moment <laughs> I turned the camera on, I always have the thought, you don't have to do this, Jay. No one's really, you know, no one's really watching me. It's just me saying I'm going to do it every week. I haven't said a, how many I'm going to do. Just for the time being, I'm doing it once a week on Thursday. That's the last day of the week I can do it. And it's a nice way to launch into the weekend, you know. Like tonight, I'll be doing a little bit of drinking. Well, all the... All the dopamine I've released will really help me to have an excellent time tonight. And uh, uh, I lost my train of thought, but anyway. Oh, so I was really thinking 10 minutes in and out, that's it, you know. Once I got in, uh, it uh, pretty quickly seemed not terrible. So I'm going to try two bags of ice next time. I'll commit to that. And we'll see if that makes any difference. And maybe it'll be raining. Wouldn't that be cool? I'll be in my ice bath full of ice up to my neck with the raindrops falling on my head. I'll remember that. That's what's important to me. Having experiences I'm going to remember. 
I'll definitely remember the ice baths. <laughs> None of my friends have done it yet. <clears throat> they just like to watch me do it. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta get out now. Whew.